Welcome back to Clockwise Crypto, where we help you move forward towards financial freedom with crypto assets. Today, we're going to be going over Cardano. Why did it go up 13% in one week? Stay tuned. So taking a look at Cardano, we see here over the past seven days, Cardano started at as low as 77 cents and spiked up to as high as 91 cents huge gains so why did this happen so there are rumors of cardano rolling out a burn mechanism so cardano which was known for not wanting a burn and charles hoskins spoke against burning the token apparently the the community has other sites so in this article cardano set sites on token burn despite resistance from founder charles hoskinson and so that's what make that's what makes it beautiful when we talk about decentralization the community is able to vote and make decisions and if something that the community wants there's no one individual person that can wipe it all out and say no and so that's what make Card make makes cardano unique so looking at cardano cardano looking into token burn mechanism proof of burn uh, from Lagoon Tech Company, the initial founder Charles Hoskinson adamantly rejected the proposal, but now seems to have given in to pressure to cut down the 45 billion ADA token supply. Now, this is huge. If this burn happens, there will no longer be, in my opinion, Cardano ADA token being under $1. This is huge. This is something we definitely want to pay attention to. So the Cardano blockchain has been considering introducing proof of burn me mechanism to its infrastructure. Proposed by Cardano founder Charles Hoskinson, proof of burn will be brought forth by the Lagoon Decentralized, Decentralized Cloud Services platform, which is invented by uh, Ian Stewart in 2012. Proof of burn is an alternative consensus algorithm with several ac applications. In proof of work blockchains, burning cuts down energy and consumption by reducing the amount of mining uh, energy required. But when you look at proof of burn, it allows miners to burn virtual currencies in exchange for mining privileges on the blockchain's native currency, in this case, ADA. And as Lagoon notes in his blog, the burning mechanism may be used as a proof of commitment in blockchain protocols to burn co coins miners need to send them to a verifiably uh unspendable address known as the black hole address the tokens in this address can never be retrieved resultantly ada tokens become scarce when that happens when you when scarcity happens prices rise because there's not a lot there's less circulating this is big. So when we look at what's happening with that, Cardano's proof of burn ap application was meant to be launched after completion of the Alonzo series, which took place September 12th. But Hos Hoskinson noted that the new application would engage new developers on the Cardano ecosystem and be ideal training for them. So this is big. And this earlier on, we'll see what Hoskinson says right here. Earlier on, Hoskinson was strongly in opposition to a token burning feature on the Cardano network. Hoskinson said token burning was synonymous with grabbing someone's wife <laughs> and and uh, and uh, siphoning gas out of other people's cars for your own. Indignant with the suggestion, he said it would only benefit those looking to make a little extra cash and move on to something else more hyped. So he was more worried about being a pump and dump with the burn um which which i understand you know with you know the pump and dump people just in it for the price which we're all in it you know to make money i don't think anyone is necessarily solely in it for the philanthropic or or you know uh change the world i mean you know we definitely want to make an impact but at the same time people want to make profits as well you know with the profits you can put those profits into your passion to make an impact to get that um so he was kind of worried about that but the fact that this is even an option shows that the importance of decentralization can you imagine if this happened on ethereum 
would this even happen on Ethereum? So let's say some, you know, uh, something rolls out and 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 the community, the Ethereum community, wants to decide that they want to run a proof of a proof of hope. Let's call it proof of hope. And with proof of hope, you know, everyone's gathered together, and they, as a Ethereum holder community, they want to run proof of hope. That would never happen because because Ethereum it would be the Vitalik Buterin show. Vitalik would say no, and it would just wouldn't happen. So kind of it kind of removes the decentralization part, right? With Cardano, the people decided that this is a good idea. The the Vitalik of Cardano, which would be Charles Hoskinson, was opposed to it, but the people of Cardano, the community, decided this will be a good option, and it happened. That's kind of what another another reason why decentralization matters because people have a voice. So looking at Cardano price, um, you, we see the max supply is forty five billion, and we look at the all time prices of Cardano. You know, right now, from compared to the all time high, that token burn would be huge from a price standpoint. And with that, it kind of makes a it makes another point to why you saw 25,000% gains on uh on total value locked. How many people are holding their tokens? How many people are staking their tokens? And with staking alongside with a token burn endless opportunity for you to capitalize on your cardano gains so looking at that and we talked about this in another video about the total value locked and how many people are holding the tokens that along with the token burn is really setting up cardano holders to be in a good position to capitalize on cardano not only from a monetary standpoint but just being a part of a a stable decentralized network so we can go into how to stake Cardano. Um, how to stake Cardano? You you know what staking is? You get a return. You get ATIS uh, basically for uh, pledging your tokens and uh, staking your tokens and delegating your tokens to the network. And the two ways you can do that is through the Dataless wallet as well as a a, a Euro a Euro wallet and uh, your Roy wallet. And you're able to stake those tokens. You to get tokens every every about 28 days or so able to get ADA tokens my whole thing is you're going to be holding these tokens anyway right if you're holding ADA why not put it in a staking pool to get more for essentially nothing so it makes sense to to put it up if you're going to hold it anyway and the only downside to staking is that if ADA as a whole goes to zero of course you lose but if if you're holding it anyway and it goes to zero you'll be in the same situation so uh the importance of staking i kind of wanted to highlight that and you know we look at the you know the the, the price and why it soared 13 percent. but this is kind of the biggest news that cardano's had from a price standpoint in a long time so looking at that and the fact that this is even in the works is huge so take a look at ada take a look at what's going on with the burn we're going to be paying close attention to this burn smart contract uh and the rollout of it and what it's going to look like and ultimately where the total supply is going to go down to so we can kind of gauge where cardano price you know from a price prediction standpoint will be i have it being cardano goes five five dollars is the floor so Cardano, right, you know, going to five dollars and that's the floor and that's the lowest Cardano will ever be with the token burn and, and the value that the network's giving. So if they bring the token burn and they they burn, let's say, go from 45 to 25 million billion, I mean, it's 25 billion, they go down to 25 billion, you know, from the all time high that will put Cardano at about six, five to six dollars. If you slice, you know, going from its all time high with you know, where the market was at its peak. And that's with the Bitcoin price being only at about 60,000. So Bitcoin goes to $100,000 with a token burn, with 
the Cardano infrastructure booming, we have a lot to look forward to with Cardano. I'm excited about this project. I'm excited to see where it's heading. And we'll, we'll keep an eye on this to give you guys more updates so you can really uh, pay close attention to how, how Cardano is separating itself as being a leading blockchain in the space.